Where's our board? We got the board. Cool. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to everyone. the last Z Z Z. The finale. The finale. Uh, Zelda. Z Zany Zone. Z Zelda's rating zone. Yeah, there we go. We're doing those ratings. And I'm Campy. This is MC. We're your hosts. We're your hosts. For the last game, we're going over one of the most unique ones as well. It's yes. got a lot of really cool things. And this fandom for this game is They're actually intense. really it's, it's very intense. So let's dig right into it. Um, Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening DX. This is not DX. The big difference is um, with the DX cover, it says Game Boy Color on this side. It says DX. Um... That's it. It looks very uh, yeah, similar. I'm, I'm, unfortunately, I don't have the DX box copy. Can you yeah. believe it? Which is insane. Um, so two images on the back. This game. Uh, pack, I don't know what it looks like here. This game pack is used with the Game Boy Compact Video Game System. Oh. A Game Boy Fantasy Adventure like no other, and that's very true. It is like no other. It is like no other. Um, cardboard. It's got the owl. Um, I think the owl's cute. I think that's it's a cute cool. little addition, yeah, especially because cool. you know, this is coming out of of uh, you know Zelda one, Zelda two, Link to the Past, where like they hadn't done any graphical like yeah, they, they, like, like, they had the sword and shield, but they hadn't put like a, a character on the front. Yeah, that's the first one, and the first character is, is owl. Are, are you ready to vote? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think it is just above average just because yeah. of, of owl. Owl, this is for you. So story. Now this game is. All over the place on story. It throws you right into. It throws you right in. It's like storm, boom, boom, and you're waking up on a beach. And then I was talking to you. You're like, what? You're like, huh? well, no, not even the owl talking to you because you wake up and uh, you're you're in. Oh the yeah, house. yeah, the house, the house, the house. You are in the house. And Mar then, Marin and Ta Marin and Taryn are there. Yeah, and you gotta go find your sword and your shield. First, you walk out, you see a. You see a lot of a lot of stuff going on in the world, and you're just like, wow. You're in town. You're in town, and you're never you're never just like in a, a bustling town like that, which is really cool. Um, and you progress from there, figuring out what is actually going on. It feels very almost Breath of the Wildish. Like, yeah, like like like, like a hundred years ago. Yeah, like there's just it's really insane. Um, you 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 collect all these instruments, which is really cool. The instruments of the sirens, and uh, you get all the way through the game, and then you find out I'm asleep. Yeah, you find that out a little bit before the end of the game. There, yeah. There's um there's the shrine of the windfish. I believe this was called the the, sh the shrine. Mm -hmm. or, it's right before Key Cavern, one of the dungeons. Um, yeah, and that's a that's a weird moment. Yeah, I was like, what? You you hear about this the story about a windfish? Like you you are in a dream mm -hmm. of this. Giant space whale. It's, it's like, literally a space whale, and it's really weird because like we've seen like space things like that before, like in Final Fantasy, like where there's just space whales and stuff. Like, just everything yeah. is insane. So you're just like, they really went there. They actually went there. Like it's insane. And and then you you go you you go in you go into a, an egg, and you yeah. find nightmares that are happening yeah. in the brain of the windfish. Defeat the, them. Um, boy, that final boss fight is so fun. It's a very fun final boss. No, you're it, correct. It's just because you you face against Aganim, Ganon, yeah. Moldorm. You just go, and it's it's so Claw Man. Yeah, there's just so much going on with the story, and it keeps you very interested the whole time. Like, cause you're you're figuring out what's going on with you, cause like. It's like you get the master. It's like, oh, you're, it, you know it's yours, cause your names are in on it. Lol. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> um, yeah. No, I really like the story. Like, it's such a fun game. Like all over, like overall, like I've never not enjoyed playing it. Yeah. Even with just like speed running it, I know that um, a lot of people just really love the game, especially like both versions too. Like it's a split community because a lot of people love DX or a lot of people love the original. Like nice. it's really insane. I'm I'm impartial on the story. I think it's good. I like how it throws you in. Yeah. Because it feels. I I like the the whew, sleep. Yeah. Like, what's going on here? Hmm. I'm going to six, honestly. That's fine. I'm, I'm not like, flipping. The world. Co Cola Hint Island uh, is, it's it, it, you know, for, this was the first mobile, mobile zone. Game, yeah. And, and so you had to temper your expectation on how big the map was, but I feel like you didn't have to because it was still a, a very large map. Oh, it was very map. large. And everything was so cool. Like, there were so many, like, unique characters. There was a sw there was a swamp area. Yeah. 
There was um, the the beach area is always very nice. There's like there's a graveyard. Mm-hmm. There there is mountains and, and everybody loves Tall Tall Mountain. Yeah, Tall Tall Mountain. I I, I love all the characters uh, so much. I, I, and I, and when we get into the enemies, I just love the enemies because they're just like taking some Mario ones. <laughs> We're taking a bow wow. <laughs> Jing chomp, let's go. Like, it, it was just so cool seeing, like, a mixture. Because, like, it, it was just so wacky, but it, it just all flowed really well. It was its own world. Like, it, this was not Hyrule, and it was noticeably so, and, and well done, so. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I do fault it um, for, I don't know, it... it, it it funnels you to the next area a little bit, but the warp points are kind of awkward. The, the, I don't think it's a 10 out of 10 type of world. No, 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 no. I, where I'm at, I'm going right over. Like, just. I, I'm with you. I'm with you on a 7. I, 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 I like Kohent Island. I think that in a modern Redux the game that they change like, a lot yeah, to yeah. Try, like to, like the flow of how things connect and yeah like if they if if they ever like just like oh we're just gonna make it on 3ds or something like that. there's a lot of like like bottlenecks in the world like like like, like it, it almost um low rule-ish where like the, the the area out is here yeah. and like, like it's it's not just like you can walk from from like this entire area over here it feels like it, it, it it's maze like it's yeah. very maze like first time uh, first time I ever played it boy I was having a good time. Because uh, I had no idea what was going on. So my first time playing was the speedrun, which was insane. I thought that was so cool. There was so much stuff going on. And then I saw the first bo- like the, the final boss in 10 minutes. And I was like, wow, this game is cool. Um, and then I actually went through and played it. And I've watched people play it. And it's such a cool game. Like A lot of people have just good stories to talk about it. Um, I, I don't think it's hard. I don't think there's really anything hard about the game. No, the bosses are all a joke. Yeah. This, like, like Moldorm in the first level one is the only Moldor- difficult yeah. the boss. And it's, it's not because it's difficult, it's because it's stupid. Yeah. Like, it's a very it's a very good starting... And it, they did such a good job for it being the first handheld. It was my first Zelda game. Yeah. So, like, when we're talking about first time, this is first time any Zelda content. <laughs> and obviously, it was good enough... <laughs> to have a, a lasting effect. <laughs> to, to warrant thousands of dollars of purchases. <laughs> yeah. So I think it's a very it's a very good game to start with. Like I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I never played the original, but DX was really fun. I know, like the original's yeah. got some crazy stuff going on with it. it. It's the same thing. It's, uh, you, you lose the color dungeon and and the, and the photos, and the photos are really cool. We actually, I have the printer. For the the, the, photos. the the photos, which was all oh, that was really cool. I don't even know if that falls in the gimmick because the gimmick is just being a handheld, like, which is cool. I, I I I'm honestly having a hard time getting a big fault, so I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm, man, I thought you were gonna go lower. I did too. I thought you were gonna go lower. I did too. Wow. But here I am with a nine, feeling proud about it, honestly. Wow. Okay. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. It's your first Zelda game. And funny enough, I don't have a ton of nostalgia yeah, for it. Yeah, it's crazy. I, 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 I like it, and it, and I love replaying it. Absolutely. Yeah. Any, anytime, like, if you say, let's play some of these, like, oh, sure. I know it's it, it's in that cloud of, uh, it's like the the un, the unsung fourth game that people talk about a lot of the time, like, of being some of the best Zelda games. Yeah. It, it's got that, it's got that, that hey... Remember me? I'm here. I'm I'm the first handheld one. I, I I like Link's Awakening a lot, and but the thing when I when I think back to it, I think it was finding its. It was right around the time Zelda was finding its footing. It's the first, the last game before Ocarina of Time, yeah. where, where where Zelda was like, I'm not only just a cool little adventure game. I am the adventure game. Yeah. I feel like Link's Past was we're all on that track, and this was like the. The, the middle step between, like, like it, it was like, z- like, Link's the Past was, like, saying, like, I, and this one was, am, and then the next one was, adventure. <laughs> yeah. It, it does a good job. I know a lot of people, like, there are a lot of, like, Ron, this is Ron Scott's favorite game, and this is, like, I enjoy watching, I, I, I enjoy people, like, even Andy, this is Andy's favorite Zelda game as well, like, they're mm-hmm. very passionate about this game, and not, like, scary levels of passion, like, we're awkward at a time in George's Mask, and Link, Link to the Past, but it's an enjoyable game. I, I do enjoy it. But, like, 
there is no very crazy mem like memory for me. Like for me, it's just the speed run, which was just insane, just breaking the game, going to the doghouse, you're warping out of there. Wanna give me a seven? Wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Fighting. Fighting. We got some problems. I love the Mario enemies in this game. Okay, the enemy, I, I enemies this, are good. The side scrolling and stuff like that. That that is neat. Yeah. I I don't sword play in this game is not that was really bad. And and the the the, web, the item usage is pretty dang mediocre. Don't you get um the feather in this game? You do get rock feather. No, no, we, 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 we get I am, but that's not a lot of fighting. There's not much yeah. fighting with that, though. Mm. Yeah, no, I think like the the game's really held up by just like the enemies are really neat, but like the final boss fight, it, even though it's a joke, it's just so cool. Cause it's like just multi phase. The really. final boss fight is good, but every boss it's is just, it's easy. Yeah. Every single one. Yeah. Well, I thought Hookshot was also in this game. Yeah. So, because yeah, you can mash and you can do some cool things with that. I'm I'm sorry, Link's Awakening. I'm sorry. Items. Now we have, we we, we do have some good items. Like this this game introduced bomb arrows. This is it. Because <laughs> you can drop a bomb arrow. I the one thing I know this the fits into the world, but more item, items. You can just go steal items. You just be a thief. Yeah. You just go get the ball. <laughs> just so early. Just like, you're a thief. And it changes your name to Thief. Uh, that's so cool. And I it, know it, it's not like really items, but boy, is that cool. You can just be a jerk. I feel like wait, when I think about items, I think of the rock's feather. Do you put sword on B? There's the magic rod at the end, which, I don't know. It's used sparingly there's not a lot of item goodies the the, the 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 ocarina <laughs> this had an ocarina as well as this had selectable songs on like the flute in um oh. um a link to the past this is the first usage of an ocarina and you play three songs uh mambo's mambo that's pretty cool you got you got battle of the windfish everybody's dream Oh my god! <laughs> I never used And then when you get here, he's been here, been here all along. <laughs> I knew it's the last, the last one. Um, but and, and oh, there's one, there's one more song. What I'm talking about? <laughs> um, you know, I'm gonna count as an item. Chain chomp. All right. <laughs> he's so cool. He's just eating up rocks and stuff. Even with that in mind, I, I, it's a five at best. It, it rocks, a rocks feather, so sick. It is okay. I'll, I'll take the six. Now the dungeons have some stuff. There are some good dungeons. Like this is some. This is the dungeons in Link's Awakening are the epitome of good overhead, like lock and key finding solutions I love and all puzzles. The music with every dungeon. <laughs> the music's pretty cool. Like it isn't all unique. Like, every song's unique in Link to Link's Awakening. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because Key, key Cavern is different. Than, yeah. Yeah, um, than Angler. Um, it's... They're good. Uh, I, I I like Eagle's Tower a lot, um, even though it can soft lock. It, 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 yeah. You, like, the, there is a bug in the game where you can soft lock yourself. In. I think it's the best dungeons we've had on handheld. Best dungeons we've had on handheld. I think I can agree with that. I think they're they're better than seasons and definitely better than Link Between Worlds. And yeah, Phantom Hourglass. Yeah, better than DS games that we don't need to talk about no. now. No, I think it's, it definitely has the best dungeons out of all the handhelds. Yeah, no, it does. Yeah. I feel you on that eight. I don't give many eights. I don't think. And now the gimmick. The gimmick? Handheld. It's a handheld. Dare we? <laughs> I was, if you did anything, Laura, I was going out. Yeah, well, I mean... I was you, going out with it. Like, it, 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 it did it. It, it, it did. It was very it was successful. Zelda. It was Zelda. It was Zelda. On a handheld. On a handheld. Like, 
what else is like? What else can you say? Like they did everything. Right. And when, okay, you want to talk about a, color, a, a gimmick for for DX? It's the, the color, color dungeon, yeah, and that's a pretty mediocre. I, I, if we're if, if this number was color dungeon, it'd be a solid six or seven. Yeah, um, but being a, the the handheld boy, is it awesome? Yes, like they they did such a solid job because it could have flopped on its face like Super Mario Land. Yeah. Like, what a bad game, but boy, did they, Nintendo just know how to do everything. Wow, I did not use a hard piece on this one, yeah. which I thought I was going to use. But I will be using a gold triangle for the end, my last one. Uh, well, do you have a reason why I want to do it now? Like, sure. I, I It's going to go back to just the enemies. I, I really like everything. The beginning of the game is just incredible. It, it just starting out, it just, just uh, overall, like, just the beginning. I love everything about the beginning of the game. Yeah. Like, just waking up and, like, oh, hello, going to get your sword. Like, you feel helpless because you don't have anything, so you just get, you, get, you just die. Game over at the start. The beginning is amazing. All right, this is the last total of time. Yep. That's, Michael. Uh, Michael. Give us a second. Wow. All right. So we, we've tallied it all up. Everything from top to bottom. And here we go. So Phantom Hourglass is in dead last, which I am so surprised. I I, I, I did not think Phantom Hourglass would last. I thought I, it was going to be low, but I didn't think it was going to be. Um, I thought Triforce Heroes was definitely going to be the worst. But boy, uh, so we have a, actually a tie for first place. If you notice, right at the bottom with TPHD and the Wind Waker HD, both with one hundred fifty six. Um, now. If we consider that you have one heart left, would you give the edge to TP over Wind Waker? Uh, it doesn't count, but you do have a power up left, so I think you have a a final I, I, final I, I, say. I, I, honestly, where I would have changed it, I wouldn't have done it between these two. Honestly, because uh, I feel like I feel like our, like I, I think we're really good on that. I think that would actually have been used here. To um, lower Breath of the Wild. Lower Breath of the Wild, yeah. I, okay, I mean, well. Yeah, I would have lowered Breath of the Wild. That's it. I, 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 I actually can tell with keep holding onto this. Like, I, I, I'm a memento. I, I felt like everything was fine. Uh, I was just really surprised. Like, I would have not. Um, I would have thought Link Between Worlds was a bit higher. I, I, I thought Link Between Worlds is right where I expected. I did not expect ages. Yeah, to be just as high. Uh, actually, above Skyward Sword. Above Skyward Sword and Majora. Yeah, by two points. Like, look, like, like this, I know, like, this is going to be, like, like, what the heck, but the scores are what really tells the story of, like... The Minish Cap to A Link to the Past is all in the 120s. Like, it's insane. Like, this spread here is just... Yeah, like, it, 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 you can see where the curve up of, like, of, like premieres all the titles is. Yeah. Well, I, I'm comfortable. Yeah, so it. congratulations to the winners of the ZZZ. Sealed games. Twilight Princess. <laughs> Both these are sealed. Are, I think your previous favorite game, still favorite game, I still put it as number one. This one's got the holographic cover that that literally, if I would have liked the cover, <laughs> it would have won. But I, I was fair and not. Yeah, no, I was fair with this one, too. I didn't yep. give it a 10. So, wow. Came down to that. Uh, so yeah, like let us know what you think. This was a this was a, a crazy ride. If you if you want us to do more things like this, let us know too. Yeah, I think like, this is interesting. This is such a fun way of like just rating something. Um, I, I had a lot of fun with that. Like I, I there's a lot of really good discussion, a lot of good points brought up. We both changed our minds on quite a bit of things. Like where I, I'm surprised. Like you were just rating so, so many things that you I know you love just lower. You're like holy cow, or I, much I, higher. I, I'm here to be honest. Like, I know yeah. I, I I gave Breath of a lot of points. I know yeah. I did. But that's because I feel very strongly that I feel like it's really good. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I'm very strong on some of your opinions being negative, and that's why I go. Yeah, but no, like I, I I'm, I'm happy with the top two. Like. I, I, I felt very strongly, and I, I even though it's not in my official top five, I, it is still, Breath of the Wild is still a very good game. I feel like these two can switch back and forth. Ocarina of Time and Breath of the Wild? Yeah, I think these it's interchangeable. Yeah. Um, I feel bad if I say so low. I do too. I, but but, but I mean, it's still such a fun game. Yeah. Like, I, every game on here is it's, it's, it's fun. It's they're good. fun. Skyward Sword is a little lower than I thought, but... 
Still got. I, I'm actually surprised Majora is as low as it is. Yeah, I don't know how Majora got down that low. What did we not like? There was a lot of things we were having issues with. Like, we we're, <laughs> were pretty honest with it. Like, pretty brutal. But, like, we were, like, so brutal that it just, like, killed it. Like, we weren't destroying it. Yeah. Um, this is a fair list. LADX did well. I'm happy with it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so we we're, we're, we're filming this obviously before filming or publishing even the first episode. Yeah. So we don't know what the reaction is going to be. M- maybe maybe the reaction's been, why are they reading box art? Yeah. <laughs> For more information, please of course see our inspirations, the PPP. The PPP. And uh, and honestly, it's actually a very important thing when reading box art because it's the first thing you see about the game. Yeah. It's the, it's the first thing you 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 buy a game because you think it looks amazing. And I think. Yeah, it wraps it up. For Thank us. you to also to the Zelda Dungeon for for their series. Yeah, it, it inspired us. And, and you know, I, I was when I saw that they had a rate even higher than here. Um, I thought they were crazy, but seeing it above Sky Sword of Majora's Mask with our with our rating system, yeah, maybe makes they were sense. onto something. Yeah, maybe it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, no, like especially if you guys like this whole format and everything like that, we're definitely open. So doing something more like this, we have yes. some really cool ideas. Uh, so if this is something that you'd want to do, not with the Legend of Zelda or anything like that, but maybe something completely else. But until next time, this was ZZZ Definitive Zelda Chart. All games amazing, points and all that stuff. I'm Campy, you are Super MC Gamer. And we're signing off. Thank you guys. Goodbye. Six thirty. Time to play Sega CD. <laughs>